This is Chaos, the uh, rolling release, KDE5 distribution. It's a wonderful distribution. And thanks to Gorilla Music Factory, I have now got a widget up running my temperature for my motherboard and CPU. And I uh, access that. It's called Thermal Monitor. It's very easy to find in the widgets bar. You go Add Widgets, Get New Widgets, Plasma Widgets, Sort By Most Downloads, and there it is. It's number three. I don't know how I missed that, but hats off to you, Gorilla Music Factory. Many thanks. What I wanted to look at today was just uh, Caligra Writer. Caligra Write. And uh, it is the KDE word processor that comes prepackaged with Chaos. I've never really used it a lot until recently. I've been using it for about a month. And as you can see, it's a little different than LibreOffice Writer, which is my normal word processor. The top bar is very uncluttered. And if you look at just the, I can open up new programs, edit, view, styles, settings, help. Very minimalistic. Not a lot of choices there as compared to LibreOffice Writer. And down here, the, the quick buttons, undo, redo, cut, copy, paste, find. Very simple, very easy. And then uh, if you look down at the bottom, I have a basic word count. And I can toggle that on and off. And over here, a slider to adjust the view. And this is what kind of set me back at first, is this huge graphical interface on the right-hand side, where a lot of the commands that are in LibreOffice Writer normally across the top are located. And it takes a little while getting used to. And once you get used to it, it works surprisingly well. I'm uh, really impressed. The, my eye tends to focus over here on the left where I write. And when I need to bold something or highlight something or put a superscript in or adjust the uh, centering, I can do it from over here. And this tends not to distract me. Whereas in LibreOffice Writer, I have a huge colorful top bar. Let's take a look. This is Office Writer. I just have a huge colorful top bar across the top. And you can see it can be quite distracting. I also have this. And all of a sudden, it looks a lot more like Caligra. And it seems like I have a lot more choices and a lot more clutter than what I do on the Caligra desktop. And part of it's because there's a lot of uh, repetition. So I have you know bold here, and I have bold there. And that's one of the reasons why I like to write, when I do use LibreOffice Writer, with this minimized in just this environment here. And you can see I can tab through a lot of the different commands there. And if I look across the top bar here, I just have a whole lot more choices. Now, I haven't found anything in Caligra that I need to use and is not available. For example, everything I've wanted to do in Caligra, I've been able to do. Sometimes it's taken me a little while to find it. I can remember just when I just started typing, and I wanted to center this. I'm looking for centering. I'm looking under View. I'm looking under Edit. Gee, how do I center this? And then uh, I think I had a different, I'm looking under Page Layout, for example. And it took me a while to find the little icon here to center. Left, right. But once I found it, then it's, it becomes easy to remember where it is and uh, how to adjust it. And bold italics and everything is very simple. One of the features in Caligra I like is being able to go into the view and creating a distraction-free mode and typing from here. I find this to be very enjoyable and very productive. It gets me all the way out from any other distractions. And it's a lot like Focus Writer, which is another word processor with this kind of theme. Now, in uh, LibreOffice Writer, they have that feature. And they call it full format, full screen. And in full screen, they still have this little icon there. So I kind of like Caligra's better. I think you have more flexibility 
and the ability to save and in different formats in LibreOffice Writer, which is what I'm in now. So if I go down here and go save as, and you can see all the different formats. And there's lots of different Microsoft formats there. If I go back to Caligra, I have less. But I have enough. It hasn't stopped me from using the program successfully. And I'm not doing a lot of converting Microsoft documents into it. I'm creating things. So I'm a little different than a lot of users. I always have Google Docs to fall back upon on the cloud for when I want to uh, you know, read Microsoft content, for example. So I've been impressed with Caligra. I'm going to keep using it and we'll see how it goes. I've used LibreOffice for a long time. I think probably LibreOffice for 90% of the people is probably the word processor you should go to in the Linux environment. But for applications like mine where you're creating a lot of uh, text and you're writing and you're not worried about compatibility with Microsoft, then yeah, you can take a look at Caligra. I think uh, once you get past the initial learning curve, it uh, becomes a very enjoyable program to use. Thanks for watching.